Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to this lovely Seat dealership. You may recognize it from my Seat Land Review. Uh, their link will be in the description if you want to know more info about this or any other new Seat model. But today we're gonna focus on this car, so the new uh, facelifted Seat Ateca. It's a very important model for Seat because 44% of their global sales is related to SUV models and that means this Ateca, Taraco and also the smaller Arona. But today we're focusing on this one. So what's new on this facelift version? Well, we have subtle changes uh, from the outside and inside. And uh, yeah, let's start with the design itself from the front. Immediately you will notice the new grille. So it's got a different shape now. As you can see, it looks like it's taken from the new Leon, which is a great thing. I think it suits the car much better. Previous one had, uh, you know, smaller grille with different shape. I think this looks more muscular and gives it this sporty appearance. What also gives it the sporty appearance is the new bumper, which is very sporty on this car because it has the FR trim. And the FR trim gets you uh, a lot of, you know, cool elements. Let's start with um, this satin gray finish on the edges of the grille, but also on the grille itself. And then you have, as we already said, the more sporty bumper. Then you have the satin elements as well on the lower section of the bumper. And then these edges of the fog lights are also in sort of like a satin finish. Lights, they are now LED as standard. So full LED, both data running LEDs, which have a very cool signature and the main LED lights. So this is cool and then this becomes an indicator when you turn it on uh, so yeah this really is cool nice uh, illumination during the night but there is no matrix leds i guess those are reserved for volkswagen after all you know they need to have some differences and let me now show you the car from the side it actually has 18 millimeters more but the overall shape of the car remained the same those 18 millimeters are because of the different you know, styling of the bumpers. Then the side skirts, as you can see here, we have the side skirts in the same uh, color as the body of the car because this is the FR trim. If you go for the base trim, then you get uh, those in plastic, but still it looks okay because then it's more robust, I would say. Then the wheels, these are the standard FR wheels, 18 inch, and then you can upgrade and I would definitely upgrade because the other five options looks so much better because uh, you will see them in the configurator, which is in the description. You will have uh, the diamond cut finish and also there's one full gloss black one. Uh, I think it looks much better. So they are either 18, the same size as this or 19. So yeah, that would be my recommendation and my personal taste. Then side skirts, as we see, this is the FR trim. And then you also get this satin gray element which I told you about. There's also a projector here, uh, projecting the Ola sign on the floor, but I don't think we can see it right now. I will unlock the car. Yeah, I mean, you can see it here on my glove. Ola. So definitely a cool feature, if you ask me. And then you can also get the optional Chrome package, which uh, would get you these edges in chrome and also this would not be uh, in black plastic it would be uh, aluminium so yeah it's up to you i personally don't like the chrome that much so i'm not sure that i would go for that and let's check out the rear of the car all right so now we've turned on the lights as you can see at the rear we have a very nice signature uh, with dynamic indicators actually and let me demonstrate to you how they work so when you unlock it really nice illumination nice uh, cascade indicators and then one thing that i need to mention and that you will notice the change compared to the predecessor is the new ateca lettering now what do you guys think about it to be honest with you i'm not a huge fan of this as you see this is the same pattern the same font as on the new leon this is their new design language for modeling, uh, you know, all the cars and the names at the back. I don't quite like it. I don't think it's symmetrical. So uh, yeah, not a big fan of those, but it's very important because they actually had a lot of, uh, you know, fonts and they end up uh, getting this one for all probably new models. 
Uh, so yeah, tell me in the comments how do you like it. I personally don't like it that much. And then if we also move on here, you will see a massive fake exhaust. You see, you have the parking sensor inside. Nothing else is here. And then the real exhaust is very well hidden underneath there. So I think this could be in some you know, other color. It would look better. Uh, but yeah, and then you have this also set in gray finish on the bumper so how do you guys like this car how do you like the design we see the fr badge of course and now let's open the trunk here it's not automatic but uh, you can pay extra to have the electronic tailgate and then you would uh, you know just press the button to open it here is the trunk. We are greeted with 510 liters, uh, which is really solid. And then you also have this tire repair kit underneath this. Uh, you can pay extra to get the uh, 12 volt power outlet and the uh, you know, proper power outlet for the, for example, charging of your laptop or something like that. And then uh, the ski box is here. You can, of course, fold the seats. 60 40 you have some hooks for your shopping bags so i think uh, it will be really you know practical car so decent amount of space and also the square shape is uh, very convenient because you can put a lot of you know, bags or stuff like that inside let me unlock the car once again so that we have this very nice lightning and let me show you once again from this angle yeah, facelifted Ateca. How do you like the exterior, you know, changes? Uh, let's also uh, mention the suspension. So there is a standard one, but there's also a DCC, dynamic chassis control with the adaptive dumpers. If you want, you know, more sporty, but also more smooth ride, then you would go for those, even though that's not the cheapest option, you know, I would say. But it's, you know, something that you can upgrade if you like it. And now we will check out the interior of this car. All right, let's step inside. And you are greeted with the very solid materials here on the doors. And then you have this nice design element, the door handle, lock and unlock button. And then these are the switches for your windows door pockets are actually rather big uh, you can fit a large bottle in here and also you have some you know, space left for your other things then this being the fr trim gets you this illuminated door seal i quite like that even though it's not you know necessary but yeah i am a fan of that sport seats with the uh, alcantara and cloth these would probably be my choice you have this red stitching looks very nice you also have some leather here on the edges now what's new here well few elements have changed you will see the uh, new steering wheel with the fr badge and also this new buttons this is similar to the new set leon then you have the optional 10.25 inch screen in the middle and then also this is optional so let's actually step inside and let me show you what's standard and what are the options here all right so you start the car by pressing this start engine button and then this comes to life so real digitalization going on here in front of us we do have the 10.25 inch digital cockpit but that one is optional so in the standard one you will not get this digital screen you will get the classic analog cluster with the small you know screen in between those two elements and then this is also optional but on the standard one you also have very nice 8.25 inch screen where this is the 9.2 inch screen uh, with navigation and with the voice commands this screen is very cool in my opinion because designers were inspired actually by the barcelona street the diagonal avenue which has this shape and then they described, you know, uh, when you actually look at the uh, Diagonal Avenue in Barcelona from Google Maps, you will see that uh, it has this diagonal shape. And yeah, 
cool detail and in my opinion this new infotainment system is very cool so uh, yeah tell me how do you like it we'll go through all the menus in a moment but for now uh, let's check out you know some elements so you have this uh, aluminium trim around the screen and also the air vents and then these are the buttons and thankfully we do have the buttons for the ac on the classic switches so thumb up for that uh, you can control of course the temperature here everything is easy to use you don't need to take your eyes off the road then you have also the heating of the seats which this car has and a bunch of things are available here start stop off this is also convenient to use uh, because you just have one button you don't need to go into the menus like for example on the new leon then of course the hazard lights are here everything is as i said easy to use because of these buttons and then here you have the wireless charger for your phone as well as the two usb-c ports 12 volt power outlet is on your right side and then as i said the start engine button the sg gear lever so this is the automatic transmission but we don't have the small one which we have in new leon in new audi a3 in new golf I guess they will wait for uh, I mean for sure they will wait for the next generation to put this small one and uh, this one is actually cool uh, it has this um, leather so that's you know cool but if you want uh, you know more styling then definitely uh, the new one is better but I think you know the new the new one is so good that uh, once you see this you just think about the new one but if we didn't see the new one this would look really cool anyway enough about the uh, transmission and the gear lever here you have the electronic parking brake the auto hold button and then here is where you switch between uh, different driving modes eco normal and sport and you can also individually configure we'll show you that uh, in a moment when we you know go through all the menus then you have the two cup holders one is deeper than the other they are not adjustable and then this can be moved nice little storage space in here but no usbs or you know 12 volt power outlets in here and then let me also show you the glove box so yeah convenient not the biggest one but not bad also and uh, well yeah also i love this frameless mirror let's check out this so you do have the led lights Okay, additional LED lights are here. You need to press this to get them. And now let's focus on the infotainment system. So, as I said, very cool design. Uh, they were inspired by the Barcelona streets. Uh, you have the main menus here. And then you can, of course, configure those out. You have the shortcuts for various functions, which you can add if you, for example, uh, love, I don't know, if you use something very often then you can add it here on the shortcut list and then the other main menu there are actually two main menus the other main menu is this one so you have the radio with the list of stations that you have available you can also manually adjust this you can also have this kind of view uh, then let's go back Telephone, you can pair your phone with the Apple CarPlay or Android Auto is actually the full link. And then the telephone can be paired also with the Bluetooth. We also have the navigation. And as you can see, even with my gloves, which are here for the safety reasons, this is, you know, rather fast. So thumb up for the navigation. And then let's see what else can I show you. Driver assist, now this new facelifted Ateca has a lot of uh, equipment you have uh, travel assist uh, the front collision warning and automatic brake stuff like that and then you can adjust different things here so the ACC adaptive cruise control front assist with emergency braking it's now turned on a lane assist you can turn it on dynamic road sign display trailer recognition trailer recognition and driver alert system all are here and uh, yeah, they make your life easier and uh, you know they help you with your driving uh, especially the ACC is something that I would get uh, for longer road trips 
so let's see what else do we have the media of course you can pair your media with the USB-C ports and then full link as I said Apple CarPlay and Android Auto both available both are wireless vehicle settings okay the car doesn't have fuel of course since we are here at the dealership uh, but uh, yeah a bunch of settings are available here light settings interior switch lightning what else do we have background lightning let's see this okay so this car does have the ambient lights and they are actually on the edges of the doors so let's see unfortunately it's dark so okay maybe we have it here also yeah so it looks like you have the part underneath the dashboard and also the door trim let's put this brightness to the maximum okay so we changed the colors but this obviously is uh, always pro for example in um, white then you change the color of this door surface on the front various colors let's see this i don't know if you can see it right now unfortunately yeah you can see it right here i will now change uh well the camera is here so that you see it of course this will look much better during the night hope to have this car also for a night point of view drive and then uh, you know we will see you will see it actually in a better way but yeah you get the point this car also got the background lightning so that's cool you know i'm a big fan of the background lightning and then here is the automatic headlight control convenience turn signal stuff like that coming home function how much you want your lights to stay on uh, you know when you come home and lock the car instrument cluster okay so you have a different views for the instrument cluster look at this so you have the automatic one the classic one view one view two and view three so I think you can adjust the different settings that you want here and uh, yeah that's also cool driving data and vehicle status this is where you would get stuff like tire pressures and your fuel level probably service stuff like that all right let's see if there's something else in the vehicle status now that's about it so you get the point esc tires light parking lightning mirrors and wipers let's go back sound settings this car has the uh, regular sound system but if you go uh, for the beats sound system then you get uh, even better sound but this one is actually i think very decent eight speakers so that's okay equalizer is here if you want to play with those settings okay now we have the tone you can have this touch touch screen tone but i'm not a huge fan of that one so i'm not gonna put it and uh, yeah let's go back to the main menu sound air conditioning so in leon you had uh, like a shortcut for the ac but here as i said a blower is on this classic switches and then here is where you change the temperature and then you can also put it to automatic air care can be active also or you can also adjust the temperature on this look at this but i think it's much uh, you know easier to just use this switches something that we don't see often these days unfortunately let's see what else do we have so those were the ac controls then you have the help users you can have different users if uh, various people are using the car and then you save the settings for them 
and the settings and the store uh, you will probably be able to buy some functions after you buy the car that's the future of the car industry i'm sure of that and then the bunch of settings but i'm not gonna go for that this is where you change the language or stuff like that let's also see the uh, voice command hola hola what would you like to do i'm hot Air conditioning functions cannot be operated by voice control. Okay, so that's logical because it's very easy to use them like this. But, hola, hola. What can I do for you? Change the radio station. Please say the name of the FM or the AB station. Okay, so you get the point. I'm not going to do it right now. But you can, you know, talk with your uh, voice assistant and, uh, yeah this system can you know be very helpful indeed anyway i think that sums up this infotainment system you also have this button for the volume in here and then this is the shortcut for the mirror link this is the shortcut for the navigation and then here is where you mute everything uh, so yeah how do you guys like it tell me in your comments and now let's see this new digital cockpit so with this view button you actually change between various views and this is a new one this is not available with the new leon so i quite like this view and then you have also the classic one this one is available with the new leon and then moving on you have uh, this one and also you change the various things on your screen in front of you with this buttons so this is really among you know the best in class i would say because uh, you really get a lot of uh, you know options here let's see this so look at this for example you can have navigation on your middle screen and then for example you can have the lane assist and have i don't know i think the best possible one is this so navigation and then the cluster with the speedometer on your right actually and the ref counter on your left and then you can zoom in and zoom out also on this and this car also has the heated steering wheel so you press this and you see the information that the steering wheel heating is on anyway these are the controls for the acc you adjust the uh, you know distance and the speed on this buttons now of course it's deactivated but uh, you get the point and then this is your shortcut for the various functions of the driver assist systems let me also show you the uh, switches for the lights it's a you know classic one but uh, it's more easy to use it's not as flashy as the one on for example the golf or the new leon but this one is easier to use i'll be honest with you and yeah well that's about it now it's time to check out the space that we have at the back all right so stepping in and you are greeted with nice materials on this of course this is the hard plastic as expected but this is rather nice then the door pocket is not bad at all and the space that you have here is really good so let me actually demonstrate you that i'm one meter 87 and then this is the space the amount of space that i have i have a lot of room for my head let's close the doors all right so i have a lot of room for my head but also for my knees so thumb up for sad because i mean you know for this kind of car i can be comfortable here without any problems and then let me also show you of course the box for your things is there and then the air vents can be adjusted two usb-c ports and also some small storage space is here then the isofix parts they don't have the plastic cover so not the best looking ones but very convenient ones and you can also have this armrest and leather with the cup holders they are not adjustable but this is all very nice and you are really uh, you know comfortable in here 
Okay, in order to get the engine, of course, you press this lever. Actually, you need to press it just once. And I will need to put my camera away because there are no hydraulic struts here. So just a second. This is the engine. This one has the two liter TDI producing 150 horsepower. Uh, all the diesels have this two liter TDI engine. And if you go for the petrol one, you can start with the one liter TSI, and then you can go for the 1.5 liter also with 150 horsepower. And uh, yeah, well, there are actually various choices of both petrol and diesel, but there are no mild hybrids and the power goes from 110 up to 190 horsepower. I will put, uh, you know, in the description, the link to the configurator and then you can also see the options. Currently on Croatian market, uh, they start with the 150 horsepower, both diesel or petrol. And then also we will get the one liter TSI later on. Anyway, uh, so a lot of choices, but there are no mild hybrids for this car. I actually expected to have the 1.5 liter ETSI, which I actually tested in the new Leon, but that's not happening. That will happen uh, with the new generation of the model. Uh, so if you want a mild hybrid, you will need to wait a bit more. So yeah, that's about it. And now let me show you the specs of the car and let's conclude this review. All right, off to the spec list. So, Ateca facelift 2 liter TDI with the DSG. You have the 150 horsepower diesel, 2 liter engine, DSG, 7 speed automatic transmission. The name of this color is rhodium gray metallic. Very, very nice color, personally, among my favorites for this car. And then, of course, uh, you have the 18 inch wheels and stuff like that. Those are the standard things that you have for the FR trim so both front and rear LED lights and this one also has navigation system with the voice command which I demonstrated uh, you know when we were inside and uh, well yeah that's about it this is the price for this model but of course uh, you can get a better price if you go for the lower trim and you don't need to go for the 150 horsepower diesel you can uh, choose currently 150 horsepower petrol but as i said there's a one liter 110 horsepower petrol engine coming probably that one is going to be uh, you know very popular also how do you like it guys uh, tell me in the comments and thank you very much for watching do subscribe to the channel as there are plenty of videos uh, you know coming and that's about it see you on the next one bye bye